Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and happy origami campers. Today we're going to make one of the most iconic starships from the Star Ch franchise. It's the D-7 Klingon Battle Cruiser. What a beauty this is. Was that bring back some nostalgia or what? I looked online. I tried to find some different designs for this, but nobody really seemed to have one where there were only just partial descriptions of how to do it with some hand-drawn diagrams but I really really wanted the ship so I took what I could find and I went ahead and made my own or that's just a beautiful looking little beastie there it's got the, the front bridge on the wow just look at that all right so without further ado here let's zoom out just a touch here all right and we'll put that right about there okay and all right, you might remember this ship from Star Trek, the motion picture in the opening scenes. You had three of these right here that when they attacked the V'ger cloud, but that wasn't too successful. They didn't come out very good. So, all righty, guys, first thing we're going to start with, you're going to take a sheet of paper, come up here and take this tip right here. Let me zoom out just a little bit further so we can get it all in frame. There we go. Okay, take this tip up here, come across and make a diagonal fold, all right? Make sure you line up your tips. Make a good solid crease all the way across. All right. Very nice, okay. Now, next step we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna turn this into a square. I highly recommend if you don't have a paper slicer go to Walmart and grab one or someplace they're only a couple bucks but they really make it a lot easier to cut your paper all right let's put this in here we're gonna line it up one and two get that right in position okay and then we're gonna cut this all right now you got this, and you have this other piece of paper right here. You're going to want to hold on to this right here because we're going to use this to make the engines in a little bit. Now I know a lot of people say you can't cut a piece of paper to make true origami, but you know what? We make something that's nice anyway, so we'll just put this off to the side right here. Okay, this is very similar kind of to what I used when I made my Klingon Bird of Prey. So... Since the ships are very similar, I use some notes from it and combine some stuff together. All right, I want you to come up here about the width from a knuckle to the tip of your thumb. That's where you want to make a little fold across here, okay? Put that right about, ooh, yeah, right about there. That's good, okay. Squash that flat right there and open it back up. Everything wants to not work today. Okay, there's that. Now, take the bottom corner here, fold it up, put it right there on that line with the center, pop it down. We want to make a perfect crease across the bottom here. Make sure everything's even. All right, good. All right, now come over here, grab this wing over here. There's going to be a point right here. Bring that point right up there to that point there. Okay. Make sure you don't overlap, otherwise things get dicey later on. And you make yourself a good fold. Line it all up. Bloop. There's that one right there. Let's do the same thing with the other side now. Grab it. Stay where you're supposed to stay. There we go. Right. Grab the other side. The biggest, hardest part about origami sometimes is locking piece of paper down when you're making folds. You don't want to slide and shift all over on you. Okay. That way it makes a good point right there. Okay. Now, pick it up. Fold it in half this way. Like that. Okay. Now, we're going to want to make a guideline. Now, you see this piece right here? It still got that point. We want to go from that point straight across to over here, okay? And you want to make sure that when you do this, that you keep all these pieces on this edge together. 
It's going to be kind of hard to do that because they want to slip and slide around. So you slowly just roll it up into position as you hold it. Okay. Let's see if I can do this and keep it so you can see it. All right, let's crease a little there. Start rolling this fold over. Keep it together to this side over here. Crease that puppy. Make a good, solid crease. I'm talking about cut that puppy in there. All right. Now you got this crease. It's kind of like a guideline. You might even want to like reverse crease it here. Just break that paper a little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. Take this whole thing apart now. Let's see here. What side is what? Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, when you close this up, you might want to come over in here, solidify these folds that are in here, like this. It all lines up really well. Okay. All right, because we want to make this right here so it will close kind of like an accordion, just like that. See? You want to have the bigger piece thing on the bottom right there. Okay? So, open that back up real quick. Now, these guide folds that we made on this right here, let's roll those into position and close them. Okay? And they come up here. And this is going to make a little thing that pops up here. Okay? Let's start zooming in a little bit because now our paper's starting to shrink a little bit as we start doing some more folding. Okay. Okay, you got this rolled into this position like this right here. See how this is going to tint over a little bit? And let's do the other side right there. Roll it into position. Make sure everything's lined up. Angle to angle, side to side. All right. It makes this shark's fin right here. That's what I call it, is the shark's fin. Okay. Come down here, and on these edges, there's going to be a little overlap piece right here. You want to fold that directly up. So it meets the edge line. Just like that. All right, and do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. Make sure you make a good crisp fold. Alright. Flip that back up underneath it right there. We want that thing to go away. Some people would actually at this moment, I guess, take a scissor and just lob that little bugger off, but you know, we can put it right there. It's out of our way. So let's do the same thing with the other side. Okay. Now you got a shape like this right here where it's rolled over like this. So when we bring everything together, like this again, bring those two together, squash it down a little bit, this whole thing is going to make, you make really tight folds where everything just, hmm. Okay. Open this up here. So you just got to get in there and open it up. Let's lay that thin off to the side right there. All righty. Well, we did a good job with that one right there. Look how crisp that came out. All the sides match up. All the points match up up here. Really nice one. Okay. Turn this around right here. We want to turn this whole thing over this direction. Okay. Because we want that shark's tooth, the shark's fin, to stay on the bottom. Okay. Now, grab this right here. You're going to have one, two, three, four leaves. Okay. And each one of these leaves needs to get rolled over to the center line. Try to keep the sheets of paper together. All right. They want to kind of skew out of the way with each other, but I'm not going to let them. All right. That goes one. Okay, the second one right here. Line them up. You do not want these to overlap each other because later on they'll bunch up. So put them right next to each other, but just boom, right there like that. Okay? Down here, this triangle that's left at the bottom here, I want you to fold this up and make a guideline right there. Just like this. Break that paper a little bit. All right, and fold it back. Flip it over. Okay? Now, like we said, we're going to do the same thing to all four of them. So put this one right here like this. Make sure the papers are where they need to go. Bring that 
flap over like this, line it up at the center, make a good solid fold like that right there. And then on the other one, we're going to do the same thing. And if that shark fin's kind of in the way there a little bit, well, it just has to be because you got to get this fold in here. All right, make sure it comes up to a nice crisp point up there. All right, and cut that fold into it. All right, go ahead and take that triangle down there and fold it up again on this side. We're just going to break that material a little, little bit. All righty, good deal. Okay, let's open everything back up like this. Now, all those folds that we just made. You might even want to go back and maybe break the paper a little bit more by reversing them. Okay, like this, which is good if you want to take the extra step. I like doing the extra step because it makes it a little bit easier to deal with later on. Okay, and then we'll break this one one more time too. Okay, like that. Good deal. Okay, now let's find our shark fin. Ah, there it is right there. So let's make sure we keep that on the bottom. Let's lay it off to the side right there. We've got one, two, three, and four. Happy little winglets. Okay, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to lift up this upper layer. Okay, bend it down to that line where we broke it on the triangle there, like that. Kind of lay it down. All right, and we're going to push in on the side. It's going to come down. Straighten that out. Straighten this one out. Uh, paper doesn't want to be nice today. The best we can. Okay, there it goes. We're in there. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Bring it over on to it. Flatten it down. Flatten it down. Cool. You made this sharp triangle point now. All right. Flip the whole thing over. The side that has the shark fin is now up. Okay, just like that. We want to take it, bring it down to this line. Fold that over, like that. We're going to take those pieces on the side and stick them in just like we did with the other ones. All right. Do the same with this one right here. And we're going to flatten the whole kit a little back down. Yep. We got misaligned somehow, but we're going to tighten it right back up. Okay. There's that puppy right there. Okay. Down she goes. She's flat. She's flat. Okay. Now, once we got these right here, we want to make sure that all the points are pointing up again, like this. Okay? Now, rotate it around. Make sure that shark fin right there is still on the bottom layer. That's important. <laughs> all right. Let's just crush it a little bit. Make sure we got really good folds for everything. Okay. We're going to want to take this in between. Okay? And we're going to want to keep this closed right here like this. I want you to rock this out. You see how that's moving like that right there? Rock it out. Down. Like this. Do, 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 do. Okay. This is going to come to a point down here. Smooth it all out. Okay. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Rock it out. And it'll turn itself. There we go. Just like that. Close that back shut. Okay. Just line it all up. That's why I said earlier, put the pieces right next to each other, but not overlapping. Because you want them to... Just be able to sit and nestle right next to each other. Alrighty. So now we got this thingy right here. Very nice. Okay. And you still got the shark fin on the bottom part. Alright. Next step. We're going to take this. And remember how we rocked that before? Pinch that. I want you to bring it up like this. Okay. Until this point reaches the center of that right there just right off the center maybe about two-thirds just like that okay 
That goes there. Straighten this out. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. Grab it right here. Bring it up so it's about two thirds like that. We can fold this in half right here and we can measure those and make sure that they're in the right spots, which is always good to do. Put that right there, just like that. Okay. We'll, go, we'll set it down. Flatten these puppies just like this. All right. We're getting the basic shape of this going now. All right. If everybody's done what they're supposed to do, it should look like this. And it's got kind of like a wonky looking interior right here but let's bring this down a little bit so we can focus in just a touch more okay now take this upper flap you see where these points are right here I want you to go about a half a finger width up from that and I want you to fold this back this direction okay just leave it right there like that now on my Klingon Bird of Prey design, you would be doing all kinds of weird things to that piece right there, but on this one, you don't have to. Okay, pick this whole thing up, flip this over, okay? Now, here comes a, a tough fold, but I know you guys can do this. Turn it to the side right here, grab this edge, and put it right here to that center piece, okay? Just like this. Now, it's going to be kind of funky and wonky wanting to go across here because it's got this other piece over here. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that hard. Okay, once you got it kind of like this right here, kind of squish it down right to that point right there. Okay, and then flatten this across. Make a point over there. Very good. Very similar to the Klingon Bird of Prey, just kind of reversed. And it's interesting because the design philosophy of the Klingon Empire, if something's good, they keep using it because a good weapon's a good weapon. All right, we're going to grab this other side right here. If something works, they don't necessarily get rid of it. They just improve on it. They make it more lethal. <laughs> All right, let's put that right there. We're going to take this down to that point right there again, just like we did with the other. Let's flatten this down. Alrighty, very good. All right, if you've gotten to this point right here, you're doing absolutely phenomenally awesome, guys. All right, I want you to take that triangle, the bigger, thicker one, bring it this way, right here like this. Fold it up. Okay, just like that. Give it a good fold. Now, this is a lock right here. There's two baggage compartments that are inside of it. Kind of open them up a little bit like that. Now grab this tab that you just made, stick it in there. Grab the other tab that you just made, stick it in the other one. And of course it wants to fight me. Okay. But you can get those in there. Oh, come on. Don't be a pain in my booty. Right. Slide it up just a little touch right there so it locks those in. Okay, good deal. Now you got those right there. Lock them in position. Okay. Flip this over right here now. I want you to stand this fin up like that. We're going to close this model in half like this. Make sure your wings are lining up. Good points. Okay. Everything lines up really nice. Okie dokie. I want you to go here. Here's halfway. I want you to go a little bit down from halfway. Okay. Full length, halfway, a little bit down. And I want you to fold it all the way out to the point here. Okay. And you don't want to make this any thicker than you have to because on this ship it's a much wider body and on the bird of prey okay put this all in position okay so that's kind of helpful when making this model maybe not taking this fold all the way out to the tip and you'll see why 
maybe just shy of where the tip is right here is where you can complete that fold because we're going to balloon that later on. So make a good solid creased fold right here like this. All right, let's do the other side right here. Make sure everything matches when we do this fold. Okay, that goes there like that. Put that right there. Bring those wings together. Bring this neck piece together where it's supposed to. And it wants to fight me, of course, so I'm going to have to do it manually. Okay, there we go. Might want to have that little crease right there and just right past where that that shark fin comes up at. Okay, we got this whole thing right here. Let's put some pressure on it and we're going to crease the holy schnotskis out of it. Alrighty. Now, open this up right here like this. Alright. I want you to take this point right here and go from here at this notch to that point right there. Okay. We're going to make a fold just like that. Nice and clean. Okay. Once you got that, okay, lift up this shell piece right here and invert that fold underneath. It's kind of a clunky thing to do. Some people can just whip it right underneath there, but if you want it to be nice, you got to do it. You just put it up underneath there, and flatten it down. Okay, one. Let's do the other part. Right up to there and right up to there. Now this is a different fold pattern from the bird of prey because the other one goes the other direction. All right, then take it. Let's put that whole thing up underneath there. Hide it out of view. A good fold there. That's that tuck under maneuver right there. See, that looks pretty nice. One and two, just like that. All right, next thing. On the back end, they have thruster engines that are built right here in a big nacelle. So we want to take that tail and pop it back over this way, like this. Okay? And we want to open this up when we do that. Okay, one side and then we'll grab the other side we'll kind of pop it open okay, once we got it kind of popped open take the tip and fold it down just a smidge and it's going to get kind of hard because it's getting to be little pieces at this point but you get it just like that okay see how it is now i want you to close this just like that Keep it closed, lock it in there with your fingers, and put this box on top here and just flatten it out. Okay? You might have to play with it a little bit, but it makes a nice little box. And form it a little bit. Do, 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 do. Push it where it needs to go. When you close it up, it's got this box up on top right here. Okay? And that's where the two thrusters are going to be located on this ship. All right. Turn this back this way right here. Okay. We're going to want to bring these wings down. Okay. Close your box thing over the top. Come down about ooh, there or so. We're going to want to make a fold like this. Okay. And another fold just like this on the other side. So you got both of those little wingy thingies sticking up. Line everything up, squash it flat. Okay. Now, once you got those like that right there, make yourself a little fold right across like this. Okay. Now, open that up. Let's break that paper a little bit. Open that up and invert that right there. Just bring it like that. Cool. Kind of like the bird of prey. Do the same thing on the other side right here. Bring this across right at that fold line we made. Guider line, I guess. Like that. Break the paper a little bit. And then we're going to open it up. Bring that through. Bring on to the other side. Okay. Now it looks like they're right, but the thing is, you want these to be horizontal. So grab both of these at the same time. Pull them just a little bit this way right here like that. 
So this side right here is horizontal with that neck piece. Okay. Perpendicular is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> All righty. Now, this is what I do. You don't have to do this. Um, from the instructions that I was able to see, they take these and they invert them back again. And that makes their engine nacelles. I think that's kind of stupid looking, so we're going to do something different. So I want you to grab a scissor. Come over to this right here. Give it a little bit of space on the end. And go ahead and clip those off of there because we don't need those anymore. All right. Let's see here. We'll bend that right at that point. We'll bend this one right at that point. Okay. So we got those two wingy things right there. Okay. Here's going to be the hardest part of this entire thing. Open the shark tooth right there like that. Okay. Bring the tip down. I want you to flatten this neck back out a little bit like that. Okay. All right. Where that neck is at right there, where that triangle flattens at, bend this in half. Okay. Just like that. Bend it like that. Okay. Now, I want you to see how this neck is put together. Roll this back out. Okay. On the other side, do the same exact thing. Roll this back out. Now, this is very complicated. I understand that. Okay, like that right there. What we're going to do is slowly take this apart right here. Okay. Now, on the other side, there's two folds right there like that. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to pick it apart. Do that side and pick it apart too. Okay, and then we're going to just put our fingers in there and kind of start puffing this out. See how it does that? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Look at that. We'll get the other part up here, getting it to start puffing out too. Just slowly work it open. Okay. It's going to be like a little balloon, see? And if it does really good, it's going to make a little triangle right there. Do the same thing on the other side here. Roll it all out. Come on, puppy. There we go. Puff it all out. All right. We're doing absolutely marvelous at this point. You want to kind of flatten these and shape this a little bit. See how it kind of makes like a ball kind of shape? All right. This is a little trick that I came up with. Nobody else has this. That I've seen anywhere so take yourself a little piece of paper over here I want you to wad up a little ball okay and what we're gonna do with this is we're going to uh, there we go make this little ball stick that right inside there okay now when we close this all up I want you to bring this down like this okay Bring it to the center line as much as possible. And then I want you to flatten those two little wingy thingies on it. Close up the neck. Okay? It's going to be kind of tough. It's a pain in the butt, but you're shaping this paper. Okay? You want to shape the front right there. So it's got like a lip over the top. See how that works? Made a little lip inside there like that. Okay? Close this neck back up. Okay. I'm going to slowly form it right back into position where it was. Okay. There's that. Now, once you got this like this right here, you got the little ball inside and everything's all in position right there. Then you take the little wings that are on the side right here, fold that right across one time. Then I want you to fold the other one across one time. And of course it wants to fight me. If I got some kind of resin or something, I can put it on my fingers so it wouldn't slip. Just a thought. Okay. We got this right here. We're going to put this back here. Okay. Put it back together the way it was. Okay. Form everything into the shape we want it to have. Just like this. Okay. Now, 
You can take some glue. I highly recommend this. You can either stop at this point with this or do what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift this shell up. I'm going to glue underneath here like this. Glue inside that spine right there of that. And just work it all around inside there. Okay. Close this all up. Where this box is on top right here. Lift it up. Flatten it down. Put some glue on here, some glue on here. And flatten it back on top. Okay. You almost want that to kind of stick up a little bit. We're going to put this glue in position. Okay, everything fits where it's supposed to fit. Now, lift up underneath here. Let's put some glue under here. So everything's going to stick where we want it to. Close it up. All right, put it on there. Let's put some underneath these wings too. Help seal that shut, okay? Form the bridge. One side. Let's do the other one over here. Just like this. See, at this point, it kind of gets more almost like model making than origami airplanes, but we do the best we can with what we got. Always strive for something new and better. Okay. Crimp that in there. Oops, stay where you were. Like that. Okay. We're going to make a nice headpiece right there. Okay. There we go. And we got this all set up. Let's put this neck down here a little bit. We can actually even go in here and kind of flatten that neck just a touch. I don't even want to go underneath it and put the two pieces together right there because on the show it looks like it's a little bit wider there too. All right, that'll help give that kind of shape to the back curve right here. All righty, make sure everything's holding together good. Oh, yeah, we're doing a great job here. Okay, now we've got this part right here done. All right, it's starting to take shape. Now, remember that piece over here I told you about? We're going to take that. I want you to fold it into a triangle once like this okay then we're going to fold it over okay two triangles we're going to fold it over again three triangles and one more time right here like that okay so we got this arrangement now. Okay, so basically you got two squares that are equal with a diagonal cut across them. So let's take Mr. Handy Dandy Scissor. And let's manufacture us some warp nacelles. Alrighty, get rid of that piece. Oops, no, nope, we got to get rid of that piece. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> let's focus out just a touch right here so we can see what we're doing. Move the ship right there. Fold this back in half, like this. Match everything up. Okay. Fold it across that diagonal, just like this. Okay. Then fold it in half, like this. So the other side is two thirds, one third, two thirds, like that. Okay. Fold it up again. Everything is equal, so you actually get up three sections one, two, three, equal. Okay, you're gonna want to fold over this triangle like that. You're gonna want to come over here and fold over this triangle like that. Okay, then pick an end and fold it uh, yay far like that. Okay, about halfway down through the length of that triangle. Work that back and forth a little bit so you know where that crease is at. That's going to be like a guider crease later on. Okay, open the whole thing back up. Do, 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 do. Just to where it's like this right here. Okay, still fold it over one time. See, like that. Okay, bring in 
these two wings you made. Now one side's going to be reverse of the other, so you're going to have to work them a little bit, make sure everything's just right. Okay. Now flip it over. Flip over this triangle here. Okay. Make sure it lines up with that crease line we made. And then fold that crease line over one time. Just like that. Okay. Make sure the edges all line up. Now, flip it back this way right here with the side that has the two flaps up. Fold this in. Okay. And fold it in half just like that. Okay. Alrighty. Now, Open it, fold it open again, like this. Take these triangles on the tops, fold them inside, like this. And fold these inside, like this. All right. Now take this triangle back outside here, like that. Fold it inside. We're basically breaking the paper and loading everything up in here. All right, like that. Then reverse that again, like that. And then we're going to reverse this triangle right here, like this. And then we're going to close it one more time. Okay. Now, if you do this just right, right here. You're going to have a little pocket here. You're going to have these two little winglets on the top part right here, like that. Okay. So unfold this again real quick. Sorry, it takes a lot of little bitsy folding here. Okay, but now we got all of our guidelines in position. We're going to want to have to separate this in half. Okay. Right down the center. And give that a cut. Just like this. Okay. And we're going to put each one back together again. All right. Fold these back in their position. Like this. Like that. Okay, this is the outside. So fold one, two, and this goes on the inside, three. All right, crush that all shut. There's one engine. Do the same thing with the other one here, okay? Fold it in, fold it over, fold it in, fold it over. Then we're going to take this, goes over one time, over a second time. This one goes in on the inside. Close it, crush it flat, like that, and we got a second engine, all right? Now, here comes the trick. Over here on this, right here, let's bring this down in here so we can see a little bit closer. You're going to want to take your glue. I had a little burp there, sorry. <laughs> Open this up just a little bit inside there. Put some glue on the inside on both sides and a little bit of glue on the outside on both sides. Don't stick these together, okay? What I want you to do, pick up this engine to sell. Starting here, you want to go along the spine of it, get up under those two little winglets that are on it. And of course, it wants to fight me. Sometimes you got to lift it up yourself manually. But you're going to slide these. <sighs> Come on. Hold on. Let's bend this out the way just a little bit. And bend this one out the way a little bit. Set it on there. Slide that thing up into that pocket right there. Okay? Close these winglets on the glued tabs. Make sure that they are horizontal and parallel with the body of the ship. Just like this. Okay? One. Okay? Let's do the other side now. Open this up, glue it inside, glue on the outside, take our little engine right here, and let's just do some preventative right here, and just open it right there, slide it down there into that pocket, just like that, it fits right nice and snug, line it up so it's parallel with the body, there you go meld that puppy on there all right now fold this over right here at that point Fold the other one back over at the point and 
you've got yourself a Klingon D7 battle cruiser, guys. How's that for spiffy? That's pretty nifty. Thank you for watching, and if you like this right here, tell some friends about it. Come join my channel. I do some stuff every couple of days. Uh, this is my hobby. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day.